the market is fractal and it produces the same patterns over and over and over so you can see these are trades based on pure price action this is what i'm about to share with you in a few minutes these are profit made just in 24 hours trend following is one of the best way to be able to make huge sums of money uh, even from just a small trading account because you'll be able to ride the train as long as it is valid so just looking at this trade this is a trade i made some few days ago just two days ago and you can see it's really it has given me a lot of profit and if you guys you watch the video that i posted a few days ago you realize that i made hundreds of dollars from this trade so this was mainly a pullback strategy so let's go straight to the strategy <laughs> hello traders welcome back to my youtube channel this is kingsley from forex trading with kingsley today's video i'm going to be sharing with you a strategy on how to trade with a trend a trend following strategy so this is crash 1000 we can see from the age for time frame it is slowly it is uh, clearly in a downtrend so we can see price moving a downtrend if you use our trend line you see that it's moving in a total downtrend so we could be looking only for sell setups as per this strategy all right so from the age for time frame we get our bigger information now we know that this is what is happening from a bigger uh term view you know that price is caught uh in a downtrend so in situations like this you can use our trend line we use our market structure to get very good uh entry setups all right so now drop into smaller time frames you realize that price it moves in swings all right it creates lower uh lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs guys i've said this over and over the market is fractal it has patterns that repeat themselves over and over all right so you just need to understand this this is very simple strategy you don't have to stress up yourself and you make the money all right so once you already know this uh that price forms you know lower lows and lower highs now you wait for price to move you know create a lower low and then it reverses to a lower high because this is what will happen surely it will likely happen market it don't just move market don't just move straight down so it moves it reverses it is move it reverses so from here now we already have that information this move down is called the impulsive move and this is the pullback we have the impulsive move we have the pullback all right so now this is the trade i took a few days ago you see that price was in a downtrend so from here what happened is uh actually allowed price to move down so this was the impulsive move that happened and this was the correction which is also known as the pullback all right so now i identified this zone here because when price comes down and it faces rejection in a zone it's known as a support zone and then it goes back it comes back you see how price contended a little bit here before it broke through this zone so price had broken through the zone and now it reversed back so price was reversing it got here and it got rejected so using our trend line to get multiple confluence you can see that if i connect this trend line you see that i connect the first peak all right i connect the first peak and then the second peak you see that here was the third peak and at the same time it was around the resistance zone this resistance was the previous support that turned to resistance because price broke through the zone so now price pulled back to this zone when price pulled back here now i dropped to small time frame all right so i look for rejection candle you know what a rejection candle is we talk about a doji and all of that we have bearish engulfing candle and all of all of those things so i actually entered the trade all right so we have entering my trades like i share with my mentorship students okay guys before we continue just take a minute and you go through and you see the reaction of students that are under my mentorship i mentor them one-on-one -on -one. i give them analysis i give them do daily analysis we do our zoom video meetings and i have this personal strategy i've been teaching them so you can see guys this is the reaction from the students they are seeing the results live every day so i post and they see every bit of it so i just want you to have confidence and you know
so it's just to you know encourage you to have confidence on what you are seeing all right this is some of the reactions from the students and it's not something we just come and do on youtube back in our various trading forums we are making the profit too So you can see these are all live accounts and it's just as clear as visible as you can see all right so you if you equally want to join our mentorship program where you're getting one-on-one -on -one, uh, analysis all of that you can get to us and you get added so that i had three confluences already you have a trend line that is coming down and it so it supports price all right it acts as a resistance to price we equally have horizontal resistance zone and then we now have a rejection around the zone so it was just clear i took my order here i had multiple entries i already closed most of the trades and i even posted uh it in this channel so i closed most of the trade and i just allowed this one to learn so my stop loss was above here most of my tps were around here who shows the previous low all right because it sometimes price might not break through but I created most, I uh, uh, took most of my profits around here. And what happened? Price now broke down. So we know that the trend, we have a strong downtrend from the information that we got from the higher time frame. So we are now, we only wait for price to, you know, start pulling back and we are taking our orders. Now, what we do now is just to be shifting our stop losses. Normally, from here, I have to shift my stop loss now here because price has already created a new low. When it creates a new low, it creates a new lower high. All right and then it breaks the new low you shift your stop loss that's how to write the market and make huge profit so i'm going to shift my stop loss down here and see how as price continue moving i continue shift my stop loss down and we can still take other trades now from here you can see you have a similar scenario here price has created a low this was a former support zone that was created here it's simple as that and now price has broken through the support zone is consolidating now it came down here and created a new lower low so it has reversed back now to the zone so getting a good weight now to get a good rejection candle here we take our order we place our stop loss above this zone and our tip it down so you see we have a first jump now price is going to jump now that it has jumped the second time it's going to jump the third time most of the times it usually happens like this and when it jumps you see it will just keep going and keep going but if price break our resistance zone up, we'll only be waiting for a retest to start buying. When you are taking your trades, also make sure that you go to higher time frames like the H4. You ensure that to the left, there is no strong support zone. There is no strong resistance like here from inside this zone. So if we are selling, we should ensure that this zone here, because when price comes here, it's going to react. So I'm going to mark out this zone to wait for price because when it reaches here we are going to get a, re a reaction so when you are trading don't just be limited to the small time frame in which you are trading in go to bigger time frames and try to see the general market conditions all right why you are right in the market because price has a way it reacts and it's going to keep reacting like that over and over and over so right now as you see price will likely jump all right price is likely jump in some cases when you enter now when you see the first jump the second time you are going to see price just jump down and that's how you see that you in no time you are in deep profit so that's how the strategy is just as simple as that guys as a quick recap i told you guys you first go to bigger time frame you identify the trend all right you come to smaller time frames now you are looking for what for those impulsive moves when you get the impulsive move which is a long move you wait for price to pull back you identify this my this small small uh resistance and support zones like this one that i entered then here you identify when price creates a new zone you wait for price to come back and retest when it retests, you look for your confluences and that's it guys you are in the trade this tree is going to give you a good risk to the world ratio because you'll be having more than one is to two that's just how simple it is making money in this business is not stressful it's just that you should be able to you know follow your trading rules very well and in situations where price breaks and violates for instance sometimes you might uh, want to enter here and you see price you break through up and then you break through the zone and goes up that's normal in trading in those situations you take your small loss and you go out and when you 
enter you see that you are in profits allow the trade to run very well so that you'll be able to cover up the small losses that you make and in the long run you'll be very profitable all right a profitable trader like i always say is not someone who wins 100 percent of his trades there's no trader under the sun that wins every trade they take what makes a profitable trader is they use good risk to reward ratio and then they are able to cut down their losses they have small losses they cut down the losses and they allow their trades to run just apply these strategies guys it's just as simple as that in the long run you are going to see that you'll be profitable all right thank you for watching if you find this video helpful please ju just click on that subscribe button click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out in any video that we post give me a thumbs up and share the video with your friends till then see you in the next video